Welcome back Recording. to Total Party Kill as we return to Shocktober 2019, already in progress. Ooh. Shocktober! Progress, progress, progress. <laughs> Our party is on the second floor of Save Off Manor, where they have concocted a cunning plan. Uh, a plan. They have concocted a plan. <laughs> it's pretty cunning. To get through a Dumbledore, which is two doors. Uh, and You'll never so get through Dumbledore. We will- He's invincible. We will join them as they are setting up their their Rube Goldberg like mirror contraction contraption or contraction. <laughs> it's just a mirror. It's just it's a, a mirror. mirror. <laughs> as <laughs> wow, how complicated! Yes, uh, and so there we go. Set up your stupid mirror. <laughs> so before wheels on um, wheels on wheels. Before <laughs> executing this highly complicated plan. I want to point out how physics works. Mm. I, I, Dan, uh, Dan and I discussed this on the break. <laughs> the fact that I can see around the corner here suggests that the mirror is angled in such a way that any kind of beam would cause the um, would cause a reflection to like the corner over here, and not back to the rogue that's standing around the other side. Here. Just, uh, I just want to check: is this Steve uh, postulating this, or is this Fluffy postulating this? <laughs> this is physics postulating this. Uh, angle physics. of reflection equals angle of refraction, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yep. Um. Ah, uh, yes, but how does that intersect with angle of magic? And so, also- so here's the thing: if we think that the mirror will reflect the ray. We put the mirror in front of the knight, and then it shoots back at it. If we don't think it'll reflect the ray, then we're fine with our current plan. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna stand around the corner here, so you yeah. can go grab the other mirror if you wanna put it in front of the knight. Ooh, no, I'm, I'm, not, both. Great. I'm not against that. <laughs> so, so basically, we, we have, have another mirror. Is this a one, one mirror or two mirror plan? Clarify we for could, me. Why it could not be three. There's three mirror mirrors. Plan. Let's so, do the two mirror plan. So, yeah. <laughs> I just, this is one of those uh, team meetings that breaks out as you're dragging furniture back and forth across the hallway. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing again? So, Fluffy so trudges back into the boudoir and gets the other mirror. <laughs> we had it set up, and I don't see that the DMs should be interfering with it. <laughs> We're not. So, <laughs> you are. Right. He was Fluffy's gotten the other it. mirror. Fluffy is on <laughs> his way back. He sets up another mirror. Is yep. that like facing a wine? the knight just- so that if the knight shoots a beam towards the original mirror, that it will reflect directly back at the knight. Does Wizards yeah. of the Coast have like a helpline we can call if we're feeling some dungeon yeah, master hostility? Yeah, it costs eight ninety nine a minute because you guys are jerks. <laughs> but but <laughs> there's honestly really hostility a... coming from the dungeon masters, and I need to call somebody it's for help. Good DM, bad DM. Okay, Th- there are two ways that this magic could work, right. and we have covered both of those ways with mirrors. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> there's only now, two ways that magic could work. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> now, uh, yes, either the if you... ray bounces Jane? or the ray does not bounce. Jane, ma- magic is a spectrum thank you definitely rainbow <laughs> this plan isn't complicated enough can we make it more complicated third oh, mirror third sure. mirror. yes <laughs> let's do I will, it i will hand you the witch bear doll <laughs> if you wouldn't mind holding that out with your mage hand around the corner away from both of the mirrors so that if it sees if it has any kind of like a visual element to what it shoots the beam at it will shoot at the Sorry, witch bear we're doll. trying to destroy the plot item <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna do that <laughs> it may not be a plot item how about one of the bears that is clearly not Billy? What if it's Billy? Is it only me who can see the line I drew? Uh, no, I, can see I see a blue I line. I can see it. So that's where we want the one mirror, right? Yeah. Yep. And in your imagination, that mirror is much bigger than it actually is, yes? All right. Where <laughs> did the uh, beam come out of the night when it shot me? Uh, I think right out of its eyes. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's it, great. Remember, it turned, though, didn't it? It did rotate. It swiveled. Yeah. yeah, I think the mirror should be like more angled over here. So it's. How do I erase that? Uh, I'm going to walk into the bedroom. You're joining us for Mirror Talk 2019. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We already... Again, you're ring. <laughs> We're doing something. And the DMs are saying things in the middle of it. This <laughs> is a show That's... that we produce for people's entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I walk into the bedroom. I grab a shirt. Okay. I walk up to the night. 
I drape the shirt over its eyes. Okay. <laughs> now can we go? Oh, yes. Okay, that was so, worth waiting for. Let's do okay. it. So, so we have two mirrors set up All as right. described and a shirt the on the night's end. So <laughs> now, I think we're just about ready to execute this plan, but first I'm going to cast Minor Illusion directly in front of me and make it appear that there's another wall right in front of me. <laughs> Hell yes. Cool. <laughs> Which, of course, I know is an illusion, so I can see through. All, this plan is foolproof. All righty then. All right, here we go. Mage hand. These <laughs> tools coming around the corner. Okay. They'll Daffy, be coming around the corner when they come. They'll be coming around the I corner. I suppose you want me to roll for this. <laughs> yeah, that's going to need to be a roll. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm going to cast guidance. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Hell yes. Uh, I mean, what does that yes, do? Sorry. Um... So I can't do that. Please, please I can do continue. it though. I have guidance. <laughs> okay, it's an extra d one d four. Velma, can you okay. tell us what your guidance sounds like to Fluffy? What it sounds like? Yeah, I mean, how are you guiding him? Um, it sounds like I'm spell. going to give you the wisdom and accuracy, and just pray to whatever gods are in this world. That it works. All, All right. right. Fluffy just looks at you and nods <laughs> knowingly. And then the mage hand comes out. Oh, boy. What's your roll, Steve? <laughs> well, that's a one. Okay. That's even but, better. But, than but, to hear. but you got to add 11 to that. So it's 12. Okay. It's not that bad. Did you include the D4? Oh. The D4. Oh, is that part of the guidance? The guidance yeah. is an extra D4. Okay, there's another four then. <laughs> we are now up to 16. Yeah, 16's pretty good. All right. Well, hey, you know what? I'm going to use my inspiration. Yes, please do that. <laughs> yeah, you haven't told us yet if it worked. That I had from drinking sure. poison. Go nuts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that classic way that people are inspired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Totally worth it. That's a bit better. That is a 21 plus 4, 25. All right. <laughs> oh uh, do you want me to tell them what happens, yes. Dan? Tell, tell them what happens. All right. Uh, the first thing that happens is the shirt placed over the uh, statue <laughs> ignites <laughs> because you placed a shirt over a magic statue which is not our shirt a, a huge fire hazard uh this is like a halogen lamp yeah um so uh the statue explodes <laughs> <laughs> Chunk, yeah. chunks of statue rain throughout the hallway shattering all of the mirrors uh i will say that you are safely around the corner in color there we are um and uh, unfortunately, y you I know, made some fudge over here, by the way, <laughs> when that thing exploded. Um, you, uh, that was a pretty good lock picking attempt, uh, but uh, it seems like this lock is especially well made. Dan, do you want to tell them anything about the lock? Yes. Yeah, so this lock, which you noticed was gold, uh, is also seems to be in some way beyond your lock picking abilities. You suspect it may be enchanted in some way. So okay. you have disarmed the trap connected to it through a creative fashion. Um, but <laughs> oh yeah, we could have tried to disarm the trap. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I mean, in a way, you in a way you did. You just yeah. we did we did not expect you to use two mirrors and a shirt, or was it three if mirrors? If only we had a character who could disarm traps. <laughs> Some I kind feel of like I regret mentioning Rube Goldberg because that seemed to be taken as a challenge. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so you want Rube Goldberg? Here we go. Yep. No, well Henry played. wakes up and runs on the <laughs> treadmill. It's all good. Yeah. So you have disabled. The trap, but you have not managed to pick the lock. You suspect that you would probably need a specific key for this. Mm -hmm. Also, a 14 years of bad luck, which a, is not yeah. great. Yeah. Well, the statue. How many mirrors? Did you the statue. The statue broke them. Two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that the statue had yeah, 14 years bad, bad luck, luck that got cashed in. That's yeah. a good point. I just feel like next time if I'm building a magic statue that shoots uh, rays of necrotic energy, I should not have it be defeated by a shirt. That seems like <laughs> <laughs> it's a design flaw. Not up to code, you know? Like, it should have, like, a... You should check, to is there something <laughs> draped over this before I shoot out energy? Um, so, anyway. So, Frida um, surveys <laughs> the wreckage and I says... Think we, uh, I don't know if we learned anything, but we may have learned things about ourselves. Yeah, and says, 
Well, uh, phase one complete. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was planning to do. So we need to find a gold key, which is probably with the baby girl. Yeah. Uh, or we need to break whatever enchantment is on the door there. I or, know yeah. that I keep saying it is a joke, <laughs> but we throw the bear in. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I'll take the bear yeah. over here. So just to mention, you have several things that you could try. You have a you have a yeah. new bear. I, uh, you've also you've, you've discussed possibly uh, digging up uh, Gavin the musician. Uh, we there's don't a void know stone, where he is. and yeah, and it seems like you want a gold key, but you don't have a place for you don't have a you don't have a gold key. You just have a gold I do bottle. have a bottle of pills, but I you've don't got think a bottle that's of gold, gold key. <laughs> so um, uh, Deidre, uh, not Deidre, Deidre is a vampire. Daphne, yeah, um, I'm going to try this. I will say, I have three shots of dispel magic left if I read this scroll of recollection. Yes, and Daphne, sure. are you the one currently carrying the bear? I forget who was on bear duty. I think I, I've taken the bear from whoever think, has it. I think it was I fluffy. It. The last that. time that it's we got tried a little cat drool on it. Is that okay? It not <laughs> it's great. Do, Yum. Um, <laughs> it did not work. All right. I open this door. Yep. Uh, all right. So when you open the door, you once again see on the bed, sitting, kneeling, and crying, uh, a ghost that looks like a small girl. Uh, and it is. Uh, uh, it looks up at you as you come in, and it says, "Have you seen Billy?" Okay. I use Mage Hand to carry the witch bear towards her, <laughs> and I say, "Is this Billy?" And so it looks at the witch bear, and you see its face start to light up, oh, and God. then it says, oh, "Billy!" Oh, thank God. She great. Are you hand? Did you give her the doll? Absolutely. All right. She takes <laughs> Throw the doll, it out she, the window. She hugs it. We, we've learned an important Into the vortex lesson with you, about really. gender expectations yes, on did. this day. Yeah. That's a very I think we should lesson. hope, you know, I'll, I'll look at our assumptions. It's 2019. Boys can be witches. Uh, or, the Billy's ghost, or Billy's can Billy's be girls. Can be girls. <laughs> yeah, the ghost looks up or at Daphne and says a very quiet, thank you, and then disappears. Now check that bed. And oh, I was going to go to the closet. Yeah, that's, closet seems too. I want to look for the. I want to look for the music as, box. As she disappears, uh, okay. you notice that the feeling of dread that you were holding from being in this room with the creepy vortex starts to fade away, and the okay. closet door pops like slightly ajar. The non-existent closet door. <gasps> uh, no, there was a closet door again. Yeah. Oh, it's back. Uh, yeah. yeah. It pops slightly wow. ajar. And from what you can tell, the closet is now just an ordinary closet. Are there any vests hanging in there, weirdly? <laughs> there are no vests. However, are you looking inside? Oh, yeah. You find two objects. I will tell you what mm. they are. I love an object. All Random right. Table, object not a gold number game. one seems to be a potion. Is Scoop is tasting the potion? Mm -hmm. You will not be able to communicate to others what it is. But (laughs) But you will know it's an elixir of invisibility. Scoop uh, uh, briefly kind of fades in and out of existence. His tongue disappears. Um, Uh, Animation problems, I get that sometimes. Yeah, they they forget to line up the keyframes. The second item in there appears to be a sword. Just, you know, kid stuff. A long sword, you know, like a kid has. Uh, There's also... Some other stuff in there, Dan. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> when you turn around stuff. on the bed where the ghost was, you see a gold key. Yes. Nice. Oh, well nice. done. Turn also, around, each of you feels accepted. infused with hope after Every this. Every now and then I find a key. Except for <laughs> We're Fluffy. We're getting a boon. <laughs> you feel infused with hope. To blow up. For which you will get a permanent... Please note this on your character sheets. Plus one bonus to all saving throws, including death saving throws. No reason that would be relevant. All of us get this? All of you get that. Please note it appropriately. Except Henry. Oh. (laughs) That's a bummer. Henry's eye in that blood again. (laughs) That's one of all saving throws. Uh, Just real quick, is there anything underneath this rug in the middle of the room? There (laughs) is nothing underneath the rug. There's a trap door that leads to the great underground empire, strangely enough. (laughs) It leads to the great hall, actually. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
Is yeah, there, there there's nothing a, no children's room is complete without a trap door in the middle <laughs> so they can plumb into their dad. Have you seen the closet in the other room? <laughs> yeah. Mm. True. Yeah. Yeah. Also, this little girl has a long sword, so yeah. <laughs> Is there a music box? Again, let's not uh, be normative. Yeah. There does Maybe. not appear to be a music box, weirdly <laughs> enough. I'm I'm searching in this dresser here. Sure. Uh, you rifle through it. It's mostly full of clothes, uh, kids' clothes. And no Inferior plus, plus toys. Yeah. yeah. Or as we call them now, statue ruiners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about this dresser? That dresser also seems to contain uh, cobweb-ridden clothing. Was anyone going to use that longsword? Otherwise, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> like, my I'll... longsword is extremely magical. <laughs> Wait, don't end it, Tony. So... No, it's not that bad. <laughs> I have no sword. I have a quarter staff. <laughs> yeah. Well, can you use a sword? So, is there anything magical I don't about know. this sword? I'm going to do an arcana check on it. Ooh, not great. Uh, what'd you get? That's a 10. You suspect that it does have some sort of arcane properties, but you're not sure exactly what they are. I'll do an arcana check, too. Oh, wait. Arcana is intelligence, right? So I got advantage on that. That's better. That's a 20. So you know that if you were to reduce a target to zero hit points using this weapon. This is what's called a magic murder sword. You gain 10 (laughs) temporary hit points. As opposed to the magic diplomacy sword well this one rewards you for committing murder (laughs) yes although there may be a downside to that (laughs) yeah which we'll find out about when it happens my my sword is made out of sunshine (laughs) and rainbows (laughs) all right you have found a sword decide who is carrying that uh, and decide is scoop still carrying your invisibility potion there sure Uh. I don't give it to anybody. There's nothing more terrifying than an invisible dog. (laughs) Except an invisible octopus. Let's go open that door. Yeah. Wow. You don't care about finding Gavin? Not right now. Uh, how How do we know that he's not dead in that room? Right. One way we could find someone... Is by looking in places where we haven't been yet. It's true. I don't. I don't like your attitude. I mean, you're right. It's really real, real hard to argue with your ideas because they're solid. <laughs> All right, let's stick the key in the lock. All right. Yeah. So let's apologize to the statue. Sorry, statue. <laughs> the crumpled remains of the statue. And mirrors. All right. So <laughs> you use the gold key in the gold padlock, and the doors creak open. And beyond them are some stairs leading upward. Really? Mm. Aha. I bet these go. To the next floor up. Perhaps. (laughs) One moment. So perceptive. (laughs) That's it. Okay. Reveal the black. Do we want to reveal the black? (laughs) Yeah. What's up here? I'm, I'm over here with Henry at this uh, pool of red stuff, trying to keep an eye on him. (laughs) And also, is Uh, there a secret uh, door here? We'll have him do it. So we'll have him do that part. Sorry, they're asking questions of us. Sorry about that. I think we broke our DMs. Nope, we're good. We Sorry, did. we're just we're just consulting on some stuff. That uh, doesn't sound good. Uh, so I think uh, who was it? Uh, Monty had a question about Henry and a door. Yeah, I'm over here with Henry, and I'm very suspicious about this big black area in the middle of the map. <laughs> Is there a secret door over here? Uh, roll uh, perception. Perception. All right. Would be neat if I had skill in that. Then I would have advantage, but I don't. So sixteen doesn't seem like it. Blood looks great, though. All right, come on, Henry, let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, so beyond the golden lock, beyond the reinforced powerful doors, is a set of stairs that leads up deeper in to Savoth Manor. Deeper. <laughs> Dan- Dan's moving stuff around on the map. It's higher, okay. higher know. uppers. Do Don't we think that the stairs are trapped? Too late. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone up them. <laughs> mm. 
Do, 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 do. Wait, who am I missing? Sorry. Move this around. Oh, I'm missing, missing Velma. This is the commercial break. We'll be back in a moment. If you enjoy Total Party Kill, keep listening to this podcast right now. <laughs> if you enjoy this, thank you. Yeah, I don't know how marketing works. <laughs> Straight team. Straight After team. the long day at the office, I crave a pedestal full of blood. That's why I always go to Old Savoth's Pedestals of Blood. <laughs> Promo code blood. Oh, yeah. They got way better pedestals of blood than Jones's pedestals of blood. 20% oh, yeah. off blood. Better quality, Spook. better blood. At Savoth's Pedestals of Blood. <laughs> there's more blood here than there was in Spooky Manor, but Spooky Manor had more kitchen. That's true. It's did. <laughs> How do you evaluate an adventure? What does your rubric look like, Monty, for that? Well, I don't know. How is yeah, it for storage yet. space? That's what you really want in your spooky manor. Some place yeah, to put your cages full of corpses. A, you said there this, wasn't a kitchen, but the pedestal of blood was right there. Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot about uh, it. That's basically what most apartments in Somerville come with instead now. <laughs> you know, no stove. It's like, but, it's like a water fountain, but it's got like beef broth coming through it. Well. <laughs> Monty, stop being more horrible than the adventure. <laughs> was that, that actually kind of made me a little hungry. I haven't had blood. anything to eat today. <laughs> Are right, you drinking so, booze when you yeah, haven't see, eaten anything? Steve Lutz is just one of those guys who has three beers while podcasting on an empty stomach. For, for the record, I am not <laughs> drinking on an empty stomach. There are two cups of coffee under there. That's I don't that think are holding a, the beer back. Wow, that I don't sounds, think that's a winning God, combination. Sounds, no, it's working pretty good for me. I feel like so, you should be on well. you appear to be in a void based on the map? Yeah, sorry, there's not good? a lot of map for you to stand on, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, I wish oh, I had no. a stone. <laughs> I'm just looking what's underneath us. You can't do that. That's a door. <laughs> oh, so there's a door in front of us? There is a door in front of us. I'm sorry if you hear. I'm just going to move you guys back for one second so you can actually actually see what this would look like hey. there, oh. Shall we so did these stairs curve door? to the east after they, we went up them they did yes mm, let's say fancy. yes this is it it's a spooky non-euclidean you know yeah. winchester mystery house kind of place mm. um so you came to the top 90 of the degrees the spookiest of angles <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you found your way up to a door um but before you can get past that door, uh, it appears to feature a uh, what looks like a very strange set of locks. They are not like any locks that you have seen before. Um, they, uh, you see a, a set of four stone discs with strange engravings on them. It looks like they might spin or rotate. Uh, and there's some markings on both the discs. Well, and which is it? The <laughs> Hey. Do they spin or do they rotate? They <laughs> rotate. Um, gotcha. Dan, can we show them that part of the map? Indeed. That's good, because I have seen the spinny kind. You don't care for them? <laughs> well, you just said that these were locks I'd never seen before. Uh, uh, and uh, up to the top of the map there. <laughs> yeah, and I believe we have we set it up even so they have control over those? I think you do. What? I think if you select those, you can turn them. Ooh. Well, this is fun. We thought about okay. giving you a Towers of Hanoi puzzle, but then decided we don't hate you. <laughs> I'm glad. I've just I feel like I've solved 85 Towers of Hanoi puzzles in my video game lifestyle. Yeah. You know. Hi, we were too lazy to invent a puzzle. Here's Towers of Hanoi again. All right, so there's a big seven in the middle top. So are these all mm -hmm. supposed to be? Uh, if you could do some describing what you see for the listeners at home, that would well, be lovely. Well, we see some spinny things. Well, let's scoop describe it. It's a math <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> it, at the top, there's a seven. And then there are four wheels in the middle, each with uh, all ten digits on them. Mm -hmm. And there are numbers on the outside. So it goes three plus, then the wheel, minus a wheel, plus a wheel, minus a wheel, plus, plus two. two. So that's five we just need to get two points out of the remaining uh, no, uh, wheels. Sorry, discs. remaining uh, discs. And it looks like two numbers from each are going to be applied, uh, whichever ones are in the direct horizontal line. So, like the Maybe. first. I don't see any other uh, way to identify which one is the appropriate choosing. number. So, 
Well, if we could just take one number from each, we'd be go go like zero zero two zero. I so I figure we can't do that. Oh, either. I see. So I'm yeah, it's say probably like three the, plus okay. zero and seven so, minus three. Know, wait, we'll do you think then the each one of your mm-hmm. you're adding in the wheels, or do we think we're subtracting? There's a minus in two of them. So I think right in between them. So you it think depends. It's three plus zero, and then we say yeah, so. Yeah. Right now, it'd be three plus zero minus seven. Uh, How about if this is not one equation? This is actually five separate equations. Yeah, we have to make them all equal seven. So so wheel one should be three plus four. And that'll make the other side nine nine minus minus seven. Five uh, minus minus two. two. No, no, (laughs) nine minus two. That'll equal seven. I think each of the need to add up to seven. Yep. Can these be rotated? I think we even I think we even set it up so you could rotate. Oh, they can be rotated. Look at that. Okay. So three yeah, plus four. I believe you can rotate them. Yeah. I'm a dog. I can't do math. Nine minus. Do, 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 do. I'm a paladin. Two. I don't do math. Nine minus two. That gives us. Oh, is that a six? Yes. I can't rotate it exactly the right amount, but yeah, that's a six plus one, and that gives us seven minus zero. So hopefully the other side of that is five, and it is. It is. So all of those equations are now equal to seven. Let's see. And nothing happens. Minus two. Dan, Dan's checking your work. I'm checking oh. your work. Uh, that last, that middle one. Sorry, if you hold down the um, shift key, we want uh, option key. I think you can. Six you can, minus while rotating it, it won't snap. Yes. Press the option key oh, yeah. on the door. <laughs> this is <a> quality, <laughs> quality podcasting. There we go. Okay. That is a nine, right? How do we know which oh, one is right. which? Is it a six uh, or a nine? The that bottom th- of the number is the center. Yes. You can tell that yep, from right. the uh, three. I missed two is seven. Six plus one is seven. Three plus four is seven. Seven minus zero is seven. And five plus two. Yeah. Five plus two is seven. All right. And so you triumphantly use the greatest magic that there is, the magic of mathematics, to rotate. Magic. The, magic. Uh, the magic is the worst I magic. I did not say that. Uh, to rotate the stone disc into place. Uh, just Donald a Ryder, Duck appears. I believe for the 2018 version, or the, not 2018, whatever, the older version of Save All the Manor, they were stuck on this for like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much of that got into the podcast because they were real bad at it. Uh, and so with the discs rotated into place, you have unlocked the combination lock that will gain you entrance into the inner sanctum of Savoth Manor. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. See, I appreciate that they put two locked doors in different kinds of configurations <laughs> in front of the inner sanctum. People don't. They don't well, protect their inner sanctums properly, I feel. Sanctums are about. Yeah. Are, are we seeing the message pop up that says that we're now entering the end game? Should we I, double I think back that's like, and look oh, for... Yeah, basically. I mean, at least you uh, make an insight check. <laughs> insight against To see God? if the dungeon master's lying to you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And... And then uh, tell us what his number is. <laughs> what? 17. 17. I, well, I would just say, uh, you know, you have been to the basement of a haunted house. You are now heading to the upper floors of a haunted house. You have rescued 50% of the children and explored almost every corner of the haunted house you could you could go. Probably the only thing, place you have not explored is outside the haunted house. But it yeah. seems like possibly... And the ghost door. And you know there are some umpires yeah. about... Um, it seems like you may be entering the inner sanctum of said umpires. I have thoughts about the inner sanctum. So Do you wish are to, we, are you are we second okay thoughts? Tell us your thoughts. not my resolving thought, the ghost issue? My thought is that possibly the dude is buried out in the yard somewhere, and maybe we shouldn't go running into vampire land until we've worked out the uh, the music situation. Yeah, I kind of feel that too. We might get some nice boon. That will help us with the umpires. God, this place uh, is full of boons. They should call I it mean, Boon Manor. I agree. But also, you know, if Maybe we, it could be a farm. Yeah, <laughs> if, if we get hurt and use a lot of our, you know, spells and whatnot, 
um, solving that mystery, we might not be as healthy going into this one. True. Oh, I'm just wondering point. if maybe that mystery is required to solve this yeah. mystery. Mm. We're so close to solving the piano mystery, and I yeah. bet he would give us something that helps on the final mystery. Plus, he I, seems like such a nice guy. I think we. Sh- I agree. I think we should go downstairs and out to the west garden and see if there's a cemetery there or something. I will also say, before we go through this door, somebody should read the Scroll of Recollection, and I kind of want it to be me. Because <laughs> I've used a lot of spell slots so far. And you, that does take, uh, I, be, I believe specifically... Five minutes. Five minutes, so it's not like you can do it during combat, right? Right. right. So, it's, so a, uh, before, it's a commitment. Right. Yeah. So before we go through this door, we should right. get as I good th- as we are. Yeah, they I think it be. should be either uh, you or the party healer, Could, for sure. <laughs> I'm okay Who's if that? it's you. It's, I think it's totally up to you. You know, there is there are only so many hours left yeah. in the in the spooky night. Oh, Chain that's Chain true. Out. But you can do more attacking, right? So maybe that you should do. Not it. really. Not with these oh. lousy spells. How are you two debating this? One of you is a dog. <laughs> I'm looking at it, and he's like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, <laughs> "There's something in my eyes." Okay. But before you use it, you should blow off all your spell slots doing gratuitous heals. Yeah, and absolutely. And stuff. Okay. But if we think that we right? can do it fast. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, okay. let's go downstairs. We agree, right. so we do it. So All right. So where much are you for going? loading this map and these locks? No. Yeah, you get up there to the inner sanctum. You figure out all the locks, and you're like, nah, we don't care maybe not. Not. <laughs> no, maybe not. Not yet. Exactly. No, this is an adventure where you guys get to do what you want. It's totally fine. Also, you know, you know what's there now, right? Or uh, yeah, uh, you have an idea. We don't actually know what's in the inner sanctum, but probably it's not full of candy. <laughs> Should we like open the door and prop it open so no, we don't have no, to sur- do another not. It's m- number puzzle? Always good with an inner sanctum. <laughs> Unless Maybe we I should cast, cast magic a magic circle. circle. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you know what? If if you do the scroll of recollection, you could cast like four magic circles and just lay them around wherever you want. Yeah. Okay. You, you could turn the right. piano March man in a magic down. circle just for fun. Side where, of the house. Where exactly are you going? Uh, downstairs, West Garden. So West out the front Garden. door and around the west side of the house. West of house. Yes. All There's right, a mailbox uh, and a leaflet. There's not west of house. There is. I think you had already deduced this. Uh, there's nothing uh, significant on the west side of the house. There is an entrance to the cellar, but you can continue from the west side uh, around to the back of the house without yeah. traversing a hedge maze, which you would totally need to do on backyard. the east side of the house. So to the backyard. Good news That's about the backyard, would... everybody. The backyard <laughs> is also graveyard. It's like a double yard. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Two yards and one. Two yards and one. Around the side of the house, just at the edge of the cliff overlooking the ocean, is the Safoth family graveyard. Um, there is a four-foot-high stone wall encircling the entire graveyard. There's a dirt path that kind of leads uh, down In the square, center really. of the graveyard toward a large fountain. Um, the path continues past it toward a white, large white structure. Uh, Steve, what would you call this structure? <laughs> is that a gaze box? It is, or it's young. Um, <laughs> so, um, this, there's a gazebo there. Um, so yes, gazebo, gravestones, graveyards, uh, fountain in the middle. Um, yeah. And well, let's you all. start looking at uh, tombstones. Yeah, looking for yep. the name Gavin. All right. Um, I'm starting over here. Oh, are you spreading out to cover more ground? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't like the way he sounds uh, when he asks that question. <laughs> See, like, eagerly. Pro- I thought yes, but now I think no. No, I'm just checking what you were doing. You know what? It's a great Damn. idea. <laughs> All right. There's a few uh, graves that appear not to be filled in. Can we see what the situation is with those before we get close to them? Um, Mm -hmm. I'm going to use Divine Sense, which allows me to know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. I like it. That's a good plan. 60 60 feet. 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 Dan, you want to just measure some stuff just out of curiosity? Just (laughs) hypothetically. Hey, Freda, why don't you run out to the fountain and do (laughs) it? (laughs) Now... Quick question, gaming wise. I mean, sixty feet's basically every- oh, the graveyard. It's basically <laughs> no, the graveyard. no yeah. gaming questions. So, so gaming are question. there any undead in this graveyard? Tony, tell him which is one. Uh, yeah, Bless you. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's some, uh, there's some undead. Uh, I think that you could probably conclude uh, that a variety of the uh, graves and sarcophagi throughout this graveyard, some of them. 
uh, rest more peacefully than others. Um, we're gonna say that it's probably <laughs> Some like in weird positions. Yeah, like you do this. You, what, what was the name of the spell that you used? Uh, it was my class ability, Divine Sense. So Divine Sense, and you basically get like a heads up display of suddenly like a million right. blinking lights around you, <laughs> yeah, so uh, like, or at least uh, like more than a dozen. Yeah. Right, the ones that are resting um, peacefully let, are on Casper uh, mattresses. Mm. Just yeah, the right spring, just the right final resting place. Yeah, die on a Casper today. <laughs> Wait, okay, so before, hey, hey gang, hey, gang. Um, mm-hmm. let's let's uh, let's do a bit of a huddle. Yeah. Um, so. I'm back. <laughs> the uh, graves, uh, a good number of them are zombies or skeletons or ghosts or ghouls. Not sure which, just sure undead. <laughs> okay. Fluffy Let's gets get in the middle of the huddle and rolls over so his belly is exposed. Yeah. <laughs> Who's doing the best You're a health cat, walk? That's of, a aggressive of the four exactly. of you, uh-huh. who has the most It's health, a trap. Has the highest health points right now. Um, I have 49. Out of I have 30. Yeah. 49. I also have a sword that does a ton of radiant damage. Here's what I'll so. say. I have aid. I can give uh, each target uh, five hit points, um, but I can only do it for three people. So raise your hand if you need those five hit points for now. Because remember, I'm blowing all my spells. Are you or did we determine who was taking those spells? It'll be him. Okay. So I've got... Um, I wouldn't mind. Okay, so that's two now. Me, please. Yes, those um, two. And then who... I'll take third? some, yeah. but uh, probably Freda's gonna... Yeah, um, she's already like front. pulled out her sword. Okay, so yeah. Frida, do, you, do you have like turn undead or something, though? Make sure you yeah. save that if you've got it. Yeah, I still have one of those left. Okay, good. Yeah, um, she also so f- has the potion of haste like out. Or the scroll that grants um, haste. She's ready. Speed, yeah. Yeah, speed. Okay, so Frida, you get five hit points. Cool. Um, it says, so each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five for Ooh. eight hours. Whoa. Wonderful. Okay. So each of you, uh, so who was that? That was Frida, that was Fluffy, Yep. and that was Daphne. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep. We get five. Yeah, five, and, and your, max your goes up maximum too. also goes by five, and that mm-hmm. is a duration of eight hours. Yep. <clears throat> so that's all my second level slots. Hey, Freda. Yep. Just to mention, uh, with your uh, sense of all the various uh, undead and, and whatnot, mm-hmm. uh, does that detect ghosts? It says you just said they undead. were undead earlier. So, yeah. Oh, no, I'm just asking about other stuff. Uh, I'm going to say that, so you've obviously noticed, you've perhaps were at first, the first thing you noticed was all of the graves uh, in the uh, the graveyard, uh, but also as you're kind of surveying things and healing, uh, you also your your sense kind of gives you a little little blip on your heads up display uh, of a creature not in a grave. Oh, so there's it's a, me. There's, I'm a cat. No, there's some kind of <laughs> Is figure. It Henry? Uh, there's there's someone. No, no, well, I guess you get a light uh, <laughs> ping from Henry too. Uh, there's, Sorry there, about that. There appears to be uh, there appears to be someone uh, sitting in the gazebo. That, you know, shows up on your radar. Oh. Ooh, a visible can... person? Well, kinda kinda half kinda in between. <laughs> sure. I hey, magic everybody. circle that. Okay. No-go. Um does does anybody have a uh weapon that you want me to cause to do radiant damage? <laughs> Cause we're gonna go kill a ton of undead right now. Well, there may still be an end game coming. This is yeah, let's, outside let's the just, house at the moment. Okay. Let's just kill these guys and get on with it. Let's go, go right. kill, kill, kill. Uh, so, so <laughs> is Frida, that a cheer? Yeah, yeah. Let's kill, go, yeah. Let's go. kill, 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 kill. Let's go, let's go. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Let's go. Let's go. Kill, kill, kill. Let's go. Give me an R. Like Give me an R. The opposite of what I was trying to make happen. Well, you know. Sorry, Freda, what were you saying? Uh, that her cool radiant sword lights up and she <laughs> just like walks into the graveyard. Okay. Nice. So you walk, uh, you see a number of tombstones mm-hmm. to either side of you. Many of them are very old and so they're kind of damaged or cracking. Uh, most of them, the inscriptions have been worn away from them. Some of them, as you've noticed, are covered. Some of them seem to be empty, like dug graves, but are currently just empty. Um, and then as you get sort of closer to the middle, you see there are two stone plinths kind of on either side of the fountain. 
Each one of them has two stone sarcophagi on it, as well as a statue. Uh, on the western one, it's an angel with its wings spread wide, uh, while the eastern one appears to be an elegant woman. Both are very old and kind of damaged and broken. The woman statue especially looks particularly um, dilapidated. Typical. <laughs> Did any of the graves we passed have the name Gavin on them? You could not read any of the tombstones. They were okay. all kind of eroded and worn away. Okay. Uh, um, does anything I will stir? use the cantrip message. What is the range on that? It's like 120 feet, I think. 120 feet. Is, um, we're in the backyard, so I don't know how far we are, but this seems like we're actually, the piano player was in the back of the room. Correct. I'm going to cast message, because I know where that guy was and his name. Gavin. Nice. Where were you planning on being buried? The specific plot, please. <laughs> That's very unsettling. <laughs> I suspect Save Off Manor was not in the answer to that question. <laughs> Whoa, you never he- know. Whoa, that's that's heavy. Uh, I don't know. I guess I I was hoping to be uh, mar- uh, buried with, uh, you know, my sweetheart, Deidre. So probably the Save Off family plot, if it came to it. I uh, cast ma- message again. Great, thanks. You're doing great. Okay. <laughs> be, be cool. Not everybody adds that extra touch of courtesy when they <laughs> message a dead guy across the... It's a cantrip. Uh, to specify, I think probably you could infer that the uh, the the stone plinths with the sarcophagi might be awesome. uh, more, you know, significant than the uh, unlabeled... Or not... They, they were labeled at one point, but the poorly yeah. maintained ancient gravestones. That's what gotcha. they want you to think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Where do they keep the good graves? <laughs> so it, it, are any of the graves stirring as we enter or are they mostly stationary i think they seem stationary i mean if you had been walking around uh you know disinterring people you might get into problems okay just so, hypothetically so um daphne do you share the information about the yeah. um family plots absolutely okay um so i guess maybe we go um, angel or lady? Classic dilemma. Yeah. Lady or the angel? Yeah. Uh, let's go lady. Okay. Lady, let's go lady. lady. Fluffy is looking into this empty grave over here on the <laughs> side. All right. Corner. It looks back into you because it's empty. Ooh. Oh, man. Heavy. <laughs> we all remember this ghost over here in the gazebo, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you ghost do. Ghost in the gazebo. Uh, so uh, you're approaching the uh, the sarcophagi on the eastern side of the um of the graveyard you want to give me somebody give me a quick perception check i'll do it i get advantage everybody gets advantage perception is a if you perception is 24 if you have proficiency proficient skill yeah Mm -hmm. 24 uh so you you examine the sarcophagi seem to be uh well maintained and in good order, uh, they also, they seem sealed tight and do not look like they've been tampered with ever. Uh, and they each have a name clearly uh, inscribed upon them. So uh, on the east side of the graveyard where you are, the one on the north, the northern sarcophagi, has the name Sheila Savoth. And the southern one on the eastern side is Elise Savoth. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, How about over here then? Hey, uh, Henry. Da- Come on da- in, Henry. Daphne, we'll just continue. I'm not really a graveyard fan, eh? Well, hey. think of this as a family reunion, or maybe just more of a you reunion. <laughs> uh, Daphne, which one do you want to look at first, south or north? Uh, the north. All right. The one on the north uh, has the name Gavin, and then there's a last name, but it's been kind of like defaced so that it's illegible. And I'll look at the south one. Uh, it has the name Alexa Save Off. All right. Well, <gasps> the one that says Gavin seems the most likely to have Gavin. In it. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. <laughs> so, and so this working. ghost in the gazebo. Um, what's happening there? Oh yeah, somebody want to go check that situation out? Not me. Be- before no. we um, disinter anybody, I mean, maybe it's a mean ghost, but maybe we just want to tell them that you know, be chill. <laughs> be chill, ghost. Or you so, can forcibly chill him in a circle of some kind. I can. We should probably get, chat with him first, though, if we can. 
Hail, Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frida, oh, as, well you, as you approach the gazebo, uh, the blue glow that you kind of saw from farther away appears to resolve into a ghost sitting on the far bench. Uh, it appears that the, the ghost is a woman, and she's sort of looking out over the ocean. My body lies over the ocean. My body? Oh, this is she's mine. <laughs> My body. She's, it does. My she body. My body. body. <laughs> Wherever so I, go, I go. He go. How do we all know this song? Because <laughs> we all know what this song is. <laughs> oh, Man, those, those dungeon like masters always derailing us. <laughs> My body and me, we're the best friends we could be. My you know body. That was it. actually a commercial that would air during Scooby Doo. I yeah, that that right, absolutely. Freda, how close did you get? You ran away again. <laughs> yeah, she she saw what was happening and she was like, eh, no. Did you, you're a paladin. Did you're you actually specifically built around bravery? <laughs> did you say something to the ghost? She like did. You did. She say said, "Hail Specter." Okay. So, Sorry, I, I thought that she didn't pay attention, but we were in fact digressing into song. <laughs> yep, that, that's the thing that happens. So, um, the woman. Uh, do I have a hat for this? I don't think you, I do. Dan, you you find a hat. When you say "hail Spectre," <laughs> you got to expect a wall of sound. <laughs> it's "hail Hydra." I think Spectre has its own. Um... That's the James Bond one. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. It's hard to wear a hat it is. and headphones. Yeah, this is the you. challenge of Total Party Kill video. I imagine it's, the, it's hard to wear that hat, period. This hat's very comfy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the um, the woman Spectre. that you see, or Spectre, mm -hmm. um, is, you notice as you get closer, Freda, that she is gently weeping. And mm -hmm. when you say, hail Spectre, she responds in a soft, pleasant tone. Oh, I'm sorry for being like this. It's, it's just... That I lost something, something very dear to me. If you, if you find it, I would very much appreciate its return. Is it some variety of bear? Because we got like fifteen of those, <laughs> or a necklace? Do you do you want a necklace? I bet she wants a necklace. Here, we did ask. Do you want a necklace? Who yeah. is this? Who is holding the necklace? I have the necklace Daphne. in my pocket, and I will walk up to the gazebo, and with all of my charisma. To scream at her in her <laughs> stupid, stupid face. Scream at her. Weird flex, man. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Daphne. What can I help you find, Hi, dear? I'm Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> what she the? Doesn't seem to elaborate any further. She just sort of looks back out to the ocean and she's still sort of softly crying. People See, remember, you... ghosts are cryptic. I'm ghosted here. <laughs> See if does she'll her take ghost the form necklace. have Give a her necklace, necklace on it? Her ghost form does not have a necklace on it. Does it have a tan line around the neck? <laughs> it's a ghost. A ghosty tan line. I don't think what she's missing is her necklace. I think she's pining away for her lost love, so we need to get Henry up here. This is not oh. Melanie. Yeah, so you will also... The, since I you, don't know. Uh, yeah. since you, you could show her the necklace. Since you could... Yeah, I, I'll just say that since you... Um, have I gotten mean, the closer. last time we waved something in front of a ghost, we almost all got true. sucked into a vortex. But <laughs> sure, cool. wave it around. I don't have any other important information for you. <laughs> Please continue, <laughs> no, Dan. I was listening Dan. very carefully. <laughs> uh, the closer that you have gotten, Daphne and Freda, you would recognize this figure as someone that you saw immortalized in statues. Oh, it's the this lady of the house. No, it's the Statue of Liberty, duh. <laughs> <laughs> she's holding a torch for yeah. someone. Does what she has why she's looking out of time? <laughs> is our time. <laughs> okay, so that means... I don't know what that means. Is this your <laughs> necklace? Okay, so you hold out the necklace. And she looks over... <laughs> And her face looks hopeful at first and then distorts into uncontrollable rage and anger. How dare you bring me something from that harlot? You shall pay for your insolence. Oh, Please roll initiative. Daphne, <laughs> keep the Daphne, then. Daphne has chosen poorly. <laughs> All right. I so, think I was being encouraged to do that. Totally yeah, true. But were. yeah, and you know, guess what? Just as there are These many dolls. happen. There are many dolls. There are more than one necklace. It's, you know. All right. Let me... Get you guys into. Aunt Wasn't it Savoth that was looking at us from the mirror at that specific necklace? Yeah. I what the hell, ghost? 
You, um, there, uh, there was something else to learn there from a uh, uh, a check that did yep. not happen. Maybe so. she has like, maybe she has like a uh, sorry, mirror I doubled that this was up, her. Um, so also, uh, okay. so Lady Savoff is going to attack you. Uh, sorry, you the try. ghost of Lady Savoff. Uh, so you should all roll initiative. Also, uh, I think there is some shifting of the earth. And several creatures have risen up in the graveyard. Oh, good. Love that. That's great. Yeah, sorry, Tremendous. I still got your old initiative values in there, so I will just remove those. I don't see anything but Henry and Ghost Lady. They don't see them, Dan, because they're from the previous map. you got to delete them uh, and re-add them. That's silly. It is How true. How silly. Okay. Give me one sec. I'll get there. Do, do, do. Any? Yes. So, Dan, don't forget to roll initiative for the gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> Always. We're all all over the map. Uh, it's right. true. One, two, three, four. Oop, Henry's on there twice. In so many ways. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, thanks for that. On there. Yep. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing perks up my spirits more than a courtesy chuckle. <laughs> all right. Uh, initiatives, please. Um, you got it, dude. <laughs> Scoop has eight. Uh, and I will roll for Henry. And the ghost. Henry and the ghouls. I wonder if we could have asked Henry if he knew what Lady Savoth might want. Probably. Oh, I was thinking uh, she might be looking for Henry. Uh, but, but I just can't I remember in my brain. Shut up and do the necklace. <laughs> dog put she might have thought in. that he was a harlot based item as well. So. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> it's it a seems different like... harlot. Seems like Lady Savoth's <laughs> relationship. Remember, so remember, Lady Savoth is married to Lord Savoth, and then Melanie and Deidre would be Lord Savoth's sisters. Why does she care whether they're harlots? Oh, I thought of a reason. <laughs> is it because of the the cage in the closet? Well, maybe. That's not what harlots do. I've seen that show. <laughs> <laughs> harlots, uh, the show. It is yeah. a show. On I think, what oh, channel yeah. is that on? I don't want to tune I into that. I it's an was, Amazon ex- original. I thought it's about, about wigs and dresses. I, I thought he was talking known. about Breaking Bad. Uh, <laughs> so, so this will be interesting because you are very spread out. But who knew? You didn't know combat was going to break out. Dan, have you rolled uh, initiative for uh, the, uh, our, the, our friends? Now. I will do that now. Please continue. Uh, yes, so this will be an interesting uh, fight because you are very spread out. It looks like the first to go will be Fluffy, followed by Fredo, followed like by Velma. I don't like the sound of that at all. Good times. Fluffy will be the first to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Fluffy followed by Freda, followed by Velma, followed by... We'll see. Um, yep. So, Fluffy, what would you like to do? You are back at the toward the entrance of the graveyard, standing with Henry. Yep. Um, you have seen a ghost yell at your friends from far away and yeah, some stir, stirring of the earth. Uh, do I have any idea where the stirring of the earth is? Because I don't see anything but a g- 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 ghost. Uh, yeah, I would say that you see some stirring. It looks like maybe the sarcophagus right next to uh, Velma is starting to rattle. And um, is there another one, Dan, or is it just that one? I think it's mainly that. But yeah, sorry. Maybe. Yeah. So That's we'll it, say, huh? how about we'll just say the dirt right next to Velma is starting to stir. Huh, okay. okay. So if like I ready an action, here-ish. I just get the one action, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yep, that's correct. Hmm. Well, then in that case, uh, I'm going to get myself into position to shoot my crossbow should anything emerge from that sarcophagus next to Velma. Yeah. I think it's actually the dirt next to Velma. Yeah, I Sorry. Think I think that the before, dirt. Like yes. this area. Yeah. Wait a minute. Where? I didn't see oh. anything. Oh. No. Oh, you know why? I know why. We're on the wrong layer. That's fine. Okay. Uh, then I will take a step back over here. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. So I don't want to be right next to where the thing emerges. Actually, I'm going to take yet another step back, so I'm pretty far away. But I will ready my crossbow with a... Let's put one of those fancy silver bolts in there. I don't think I need it, but what the hell? All right. I got four of them. Okay, as you load up your crossbow and you see the the um, the the dirt starting to upheaval and the gazebo before you begins to shake precipitously deep from within the house, you still hear very faintly the tolling of a bell as it strikes 
nine? Let's say nine. Nine. Nine-ish. Mm-hmm. Nine-ish. <laughs> no, nine. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Will our party survive this encounter in the spooky graveyard? Will they figure out what the lady actually was looking for? Will they uncover Gavin and his missing sheet music? Will they find their way back to the inner sanctum? For answers to questions such as these and probably a whole bunch of additional ones that we didn't even bother to mention, please turn in, tune in or turn in to the next episode of Total Party Kills October 2019. Thank you very much. That bell just kept going. <laughs> you know, it'd be convenient if you died in a graveyard. Yeah, you're already there. Yeah. Yeah. If point. you were dead, you'd be home by now. What a savings. Now that's a fantastic deal. I could curl up in one of these empty ones and just wait.